sleepy. But anyways, we're not talking about that today. Today we're talking about prayer. So I have a question for you guys, a couple questions actually. See if you guys can relate. So, you know when you read, and you're reading and you're looking at the words, your eyes are going back and forth, you know, you're skimming, but your mind is somewhere else. Like, it gets to the point where you don't even see the words anymore, but then when you kind of like come to, you're like halfway down the page and you're like, what did I read? Oh my God. Did your prayer life look like that? Mm. Okay, so how about this? How intimate, how deep is your prayer life? You know, I, I found myself having better conversations with other people than I was having with God. Like, how can you be on the phone with Bay till whenever, but like fall asleep five minutes into your prayer? There's the issue. So let's talk about prayer today because I brought my prayer journal. Yeah, I got it from Target. She's made out of cork. She's absolutely beautiful. She has like gold in her. I don't know if you can see that, but she's absolutely beautiful. So we're going to talk about prayer today. I'm going to give you guys some techniques on prayer, talk about my prayer journal, why I started it, stuff like that. So I'll see you. As we were discussing in our little introduction, there's some things that we need to fix about our prayer life. And besides it not being focused, besides us wandering in our minds, sometimes we ramble when we pray. Um, I mean, sometimes we cut our prayers short, like it's not intimate at all. It's just protocol. Like you, you're praying the same prayer that grandma taught you, that mommy and daddy taught you when you were like five. Like you need to upgrade, baby girl, baby boy. Um, <laughs> but prayer needs to be authentic as well. A lot of times we learn how to pray at church and we come off churchy and religious. You know, there's nothing wrong with um, praying at church or praying with others. But when it gets to be protocol and there's no authenticity in your prayer, like think about how we approach God. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come to you today asking these things and we thank you because you're awesome and this is that. And if all of your prayers start off the same way, if, if, I mean, it's just something that's not authentic about it. Like, where is the authenticity in your prayer? Like, where is your relationship with God? That's really what prayer is, your communication with him. The more you talk to someone, the better your relationship is with them. But at the same time, it must be a dialogue. You're not just going to be talking to God. He's going to respond back to you. I promise, open your ears. Don't just fall asleep after you pray. So that's why I want to talk about this prayer journal. I found myself um, at night, you know, I work long hours and I would be praying and I would fall asleep in my prayer. Never got to the amen. I was just like, dang, you know, kind of messed that up, Father. Sorry. Um, but then when I turn around, the conversations I have with other people are better. They're more intimate. They're more in depth. I'm telling them about my cares, my concerns, my worries. And it's just like, something's not right something is not right so you know just how you got to fix your hair sometimes sometimes you got to fix your prayer life sometimes you got to fix you know your eyeliner sometimes you need to fix your prayer life so your relationship with god is lacking we need to be real with ourselves and say hey how can i fix this so i started this prayer journal i looked it up on pinterest i said you know what father i want to be focused in my prayer so let's talk about this prayer journal so as you see here um, of course, my name is at the top, but I have a purpose. This is like my why. Why am I starting this prayer journal? Basically, I want constant communication with God. I want to track my answered prayers. I want to be able to praise God for my answered prayers. I want to have focused prayer time. Um, I want to have an outlet for my anxiety or a place to cast my cares. Because when I wasn't effectively praying, when I was just like running through like, oh yeah, this is what I do before I go to sleep. Um... I wasn't really casting my cares. I was just, yeah, God, I need you to fix this. Yeah, God, I need you to fix that. I wasn't actually, you know, unfolding the situation and laying it before him and saying, God, I really need you to fix this. These are the concerns of my heart. I wasn't pouring my heart out to God, um, which caused me to have a lot of anxiety. So um, I want to be a better person. I want to be disciplined in my prayer life. I want to see my own growth um, in God and have a means of reflection, a way to say, you know, wow, you know, look back on certain situations and be like, wow, look at what God did. Look how God came through for me. Look what God said to me and then it came to pass. This is what I want in my prayer life. I want it to be intimate. I want God to be my best friend and not just my overseer. Yes, God knows everything about me, but have you ever had like a close relationship with somebody and, you know, you guys, you thought that you were close with that person? 
and it's like they don't tell you anything like you find out about their whole life through social media or through like some alternative source and it's like well dang you couldn't fill me in like we were just talking you didn't say all that like God wants that intimacy with us and we're so quick to give that to other people um, and we don't give it to God the one who can actually help us and fix our situations you know get us through life and give us actual wise counsel anyways <laughs> so that was my purpose that's my why for starting this prayer journal part that I have written on here is my how how do I plan to achieve this purpose um, how do I plan to achieve my why so really I want to pray when I write these letters these are gonna be like letters from me to God um, and of course there's gonna be parts in there where he responds back to me because me and God just got it like that um, but you know, I want to talk about my issues. I want to talk about, um, you know, what he's done for me, um, the responses that he gives, and oftentimes the signs and little things that he says to me throughout the day. Because I found that, um, you know, I, I've been trying to distinguish the voice of God in, in my mind. And a lot of times God is speaking to me and I don't realize it until later. It's like, whoa, you know, until somebody says something or they bring up that topic. It's like, whoa, God said that to me. Like, so I want a place to record all of those things. Pray about myself. Pray about the leaders in my church. Pray about, um, you know, the relationships that I have. Pray about my job. Pray about my schooling. Everything, ministry, everything that you can think of. I want to be able to pray about those things. So my goal, ugh, my goal is to write every day, to reflect weekly. Um, to establish a stable prayer life, not where it's just like, oh yeah, I'm just praying every once in a while. I'm just shooting little prayers up to God and he just going to have to take it or leave it. I don't want it to be like that. Um, I want to have made time for God, make it my lifestyle. Um, I want to be a maximized version of myself through communication with God. That's what I want. And so that's why I started this prayer journal. If you can relate to any of that, even just a little smidgen of it please consider a prayer journal because this is really helping me. I've only been doing it for this week. I haven't done it every day because I'm not perfect, but it's getting me somewhere. I feel so much better. This section in my uh, prayer journal, it's called writing prompts. And really all this is to serve a purpose for if one day I don't know what to write to God, if I don't know what to say, if I don't know what to pray about, there's different things on this page that I brainstormed that say, hey, this is what you can write about. Pray about your family. Pray about your finances. Pray about your health. Pray about so-and-so over there. Pray about poverty. Pray about ministry. You know, all these different things that I could possibly write about. So, you know, following that page is all of my prayers. I start out with, dear God, Heavenly Father. You know, different ways like that. But I'm literally building intimacy with God. And I have pages and pages and pages for one prayer that I write to God because, you know, when you become transparent with somebody, when you begin to pour out yourself with them, you know, this, there's this magic rule that they, too, feel comfortable enough to start sharing with you. So with my transparency to God, I'm expecting him to be transparent with me, tell me things that he, maybe he's not telling other people. Um, pour out his heart to me about me or about what I need to do about you know people that are in my life people I need to include people I need to exclude things like that but I'm depending on God to not just hear what I'm saying or read what I'm writing because I'm journaling but to speak back to me I'm looking for his response I want to know what he has to say because that too is important so Remember that your prayer should not be a monologue. It should be a dialogue where it's back and forth. Um, I have parts in my prayer where there's a header that says response. And these, this is just what God is putting into my spirit at that time, what he's telling me. And I write all those things down. And so later on, I'll be able to reflect on those things and say, wow, you know, the Lord truly did come through. This was God speaking to me because some of us have a hard time distinguishing the voice of God. Um, and just, just being real and upfront and honest with God. So as a result, um, the results that I've seen this week from 
even just writing in my prayer journal and hearing these responses from God is this dependency that I have on God, the dependency that I want because I need God to know that I need him more than anything. And so I'm looking forward to writing. I'm looking forward to casting my cares on him and truly letting things go and, you know, just being real and upfront with God because that's really what God wants. Like I talked about those conversations in the beginning, you know, we'll, we'll go into this full detail. We'll have conversations with Bay till 3 a.m. and, you know, talk about everything talk about literally everything and we don't go in depth with God like that I want my relationship with God to be intimate I want it to be deep I want him to know my voice I want him to know you know even when I don't know what to talk about I want him to just feel my presence I, I need um, his presence in my life and so you know every day I'm inviting him um, this is my way of speaking to him. So, you know, maybe you have a different way. Maybe you have something else that you could do. Maybe you don't like to write. Maybe you like to sing. Maybe you, you um, just want to have worship time with God. I mean, I do that too. That's awesome. But set some time apart with God. We make so much time for other people, other things. And, you know, we, we, we cut God out when we don't need to. He is the one true thing. And, you know, for this next step in my life, the Lord told me, he said, Kayla, you need this time with me um, to be able to recharge, to be able to pour out. You need this time with me. You need to be able to read. You need to put scriptures in your prayer so that God hears his voice. God wants to hear what he has to say as well. So I include scripture to stand on his word that never, um, never fails. I include those things in my prayer journal um, so that God knows, you know, I'm paying attention. I'm, I'm really here for you, Father. So be encouraged in your prayer life. It's not easy. Um, it does take discipline, but it's going to benefit you speaking with God because he knows everything. He sees more than we do. And, you know, this is just a time for us just to sit on the altar and just say, God, you know, this is what's going on. Help me, Father. Um, or even just say, you know, thank you, God, because you are truly, truly awesome. So you all have a great week. I hope that this encourages you in your prayer life um, because it's truly encouraging me. And if you have any questions, put them below. Comment, like, and subscribe. Of course, I want to hear from you. Of course, if you have any questions, I'm going to answer them to the best of my ability. I love you all, and I will see you soon.